Hello there, I'm Jimmy Vegas and welcome to the 27th video in a series of game development tutorials on how to make your own Resident Evil style game in Unity. In this tutorial we'll be covering a brand new area as well as linking our door scene to exit into that brand new area. Remember to subscribe and click the notification bell to stay up to date with every tutorial in this series. Feel free to leave a comment and drop a like. I also have a Patreon page where you can help be a part of this channel, and you'll also find all the scripts and the assets to this series there too, along with plenty of other things. You can also now join as a free member. Now, on with the tutorial. So last time, if you remember, we created the ability to go through this door and into the door transition scene. And what we need to do in this tutorial is come out of that door transition scene into a brand new area. And creating a new area is not as complicated and it won't take you that long at all when you think about it logically. Now, as you can see, I'm kind of just wandering around my mouse in this area, looking through everything. Well, why don't we just take this area, use it as the second area, and modify things within it? And that's really, really easy to do. So if we take this asset right here, which is the scene that we're currently in, hold Control and press D, it creates a new version of it. So let's rename this to Area002 and make sure we double click it. We're now in this whole new scene. So even though it looks identical to our previous scene, it isn't. It's actually a completely separate scene. Now there are things you're going to need to do in this and I'm not going to go into massive amounts of detail to do it. I'm going to quickly create a new area while briefly explaining a couple of things as I'm doing it and what you can do to actually achieve the desired effect. And then we'll work on getting our player in here. So, first and foremost, because this area's got to be different, this door is going to be over here. And it's just a case of, let's move that door to there. So this is where we're gonna come into our new area. And because of that, we also need to move the door trigger. However, I am going to remove the door trigger collider right now, so we cannot reuse it. Now, it's also worth noting that we have this area. If we, you remember, many tutorials ago, we did this nav mesh area. That's still important to us, but let's move a couple of things around just for now, just so as we can visibly see that this area is going to be very, very different. Uh, let's turn off the canvas so we can work uh, in peace without accidentally clicking on the canvas. So let's untick and there we go. And I guess what we'll do is we will just have a bunch of barrels just kind of stacked maybe in the way so we can't physically get down this section here. I don't know. We just need to, well, I just need to make sure that the area does indeed look very different so we can visibly see it's a different area. Uh, I'm going to disable the zombie. Uh, I don't want the zombie to appear in this scene. And I think we've pretty much got everything we would need in place to make it look a little bit different. Let's bring this wall maybe closer, I guess, to maybe there. Uh, let's move the light source a little bit. Uh, I don't want to waste too much time doing this, but let's try having the light source somewhere here. Let's have this barrel, um, let's duplicate it, move it somewhere else. Uh, that'll do. Okay, so the idea of what we're going to achieve is coming into this brand new area. And it's going to be a little room and we'll pick up a key or something for another bit of the game, I guess. So let's take our player, the soldier guy, and let's move him over here. Because when we come into this scene, we need our guy to be facing this way as though he's just come out the door. So let's set this as 90 degrees in front of the door. Perfect. And I'm going to now bring this wall over here. So now everything just looks like it's a little room. And eventually what we'll do is like I say, we'll have a key that we can pick up in this room right here. And yeah, that'll do just for now. So this is our new area. Let's bring that door out a little bit. It's intersected the wall. Okay, perfect. Last thing we need to do is make sure that the camera angle is in the correct position. So 
Every time you create a new area, you're going to have to just re-manipulate your cameras. So let's turn on camera two and turn off camera one. And we can see that this is how it currently looks to our player. However, we don't want that. That camera is no good. So let's manipulate our camera now and move it into an acceptable position. Uh, let's have the rotation as zero. Let's bring it over here somewhere. If we can zoom in a bit better. There we go. And I'll have it there and let's rotate. And we can obviously see the uh, camera preview down the bottom of our screen. So we should probably have it something like that, I think. Um, maybe not actually quite like that. You you should work more than what I do with this. You know, take, take your time rather than uh, do what I'm doing. Uh, so let's have the camera there, and I think we'll have it maybe like that, so we can kind of see the area. There we go. We'll create another camera um, for, for this area later on, but the last thing we need to do is, for now, I'm going to disable all of those triggers because we don't need any cameras being triggered while we're in this scene. So how do we get ourselves to this scene now? Well, if we go to File, and go to build settings. Obviously, if you're in Unity 6, it's a little bit different, but you'll be able to find the same settings. Let's now click on add open scenes. And remember that area two is now number three. So it's important that we have three in our mind because that's going to be where we come into this whole scene. So let's save this now. Let's go to our door transition scene. And this door control right here, if we go into the script, we now need to do similar thing to what we did last tutorial in terms of creating the namespace that allows us to go to different scenes. So at the top, we need to say using Unity Engine dot Scene Management with a semicolon. And all we need to do now is after we've come through our door, we've waited. We've had the door close. Let's then wait just a brief second after the door close sound has played. So we can say yield, return, new, wait for seconds. And I'll just do one second just for convenience. And we can always change it if necessary. After we've waited for that one second, we can then say scene manager dot load scene. And in brackets, three, simply because that's the numbered scene that we need to go to. So we can now save that script and then head back into Unity. So theoretically, what's going to happen now is that we are literally going to go from one scene to another and then to another. And obviously in Resident Evil, there's a lot going on in that sort of thing. So We'll go from different scenes multiple times, but we also need to set up different systems to allow us to be able to control that a little later on. So let's uh, go into this bit here for our door, and it should take us to our new scene. Perfect. So what happened there as well is just kind of came straight into the scene. We turned the canvas off. So let's go into our scenes. Let's go into area two. And let's turn on the canvas once again so it fades in. And then save that, head to area one, and we'll get this whole sequence nailed down right now. So now let's press play inside area one. And let's head over past the zombie. No, thank you, Mr. Zombie. And let's head to the door. And let's go through. And then as we go through, we should be able to come out the other side in our new area. Perfect. So we can walk around a little bit more. That's all good and well. Perfect. So what you need to do at this point is you need to create this area itself. And like I say, this area is going to be just a little room that will allow us to pick something up to access it in the previous room. Uh, now, at the moment, we cannot go back through this door. If we were to turn that trigger on, 
So if we go to door trigger, and uh, oh, sorry, we need to be in area two, remember? Uh, go to door trigger, turn the box collider on, press play. So imagine we've just come into this room. Perfect. We can wander around. We've just picked up our item and we need to go back through the door. We can trigger it and we can go through the door. But what you'll notice is this. We just end up right back here. So that's what we're going to do in the next tutorial. The next tutorial is going to be vital in terms of the game remembering what room we're in and what door we're going through and where we're going to. So we're going to create a system that allows us to transverse every possible scene that we have created because it's very, very important to be able to do that. It's not complicated, but it will take a bit of time to set up. And luckily for us, our coding skills are at a decent level at this point in the series. So. Uh, remember to subscribe and click that notification bell to stay up to date with every tutorial still to come in this series, and I will see you in the next one.